just a moment ago. The uh, scandal that uh, potentially could rock Major League Baseball, Shohei Otani, the uh, best player in the league, or certainly one of them, and uh, arguably even the face or one of the faces of the league, his interpreter, good friend of his, uh, has been fired. It was happened last week because he uh, stole four and a half million dollars from Otani to pay off gambling. Allegedly, debts. allegedly, yes, allegedly. Thank you uh, to pay off gambling debts. And Shohei Otani spoke today, not too long ago, just uh, within the last hour or so. And uh, do we have some sound of it, Rob G? It, yeah, well, he just read a press release, Chris, so he didn't really take questions. It wasn't a real press right. conference, but he's, he did have a statement. So we, we are waiting on that. We, we don't have it for you yet. But, Rob, did you watch it live? What are your thoughts? I saw, I saw it and basically denied everything, that he didn't, he didn't bet on baseball, he didn't make a bet on anything, and that he was uh, – he was robbed by his good friend and interpreter and and that uh, he didn't know anything that was going on, Chris. They were taking $4.5 million or whatever it is out of his account, and he had no idea. Um, I, 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 I got to – you know what? Andrew Brandt, who we've had on, Chris, you saw the tweet by him? No. That I said – okay, you didn't look at your phone. I, I did send it, but let me just – I, I think this is spot on. I, I really do. And I'm not saying that Otani bet on baseball or anything, Chris – but it's hard for me to believe, like, he, he has no knowledge of any of this. And Andrew Brandt, of course, was a, a, a executive with the Packers and has been on this show. Yep. He tweeted this, either Otani is not telling the truth or has the worst, Chris, you ready? Colon, best friend, interpreter, manager, accountant, agent, bank in history. Yeah, yeah. Think about all these things that had to go wrong for him not, or for people not looking out for him, for him to be involved in this. Like, it's not just you and one other person. There's a bank that notifies. Chris, if a certain amount of money comes out of your account, the bank calls you or alerts you, right? Right. right. Everybody. Right. You got an agent who's supposed to overlook. You got an accountant. What? Why is this $500,000 coming out of your account that's what an accountant will do or, or your manager. What is this? And he obviously did not. I mean, nobody was able to ask him a question. And obviously, we don't like that, Rob. Which is I, weak. I, I, I get, you know, he's obviously English is his second language. Um, and I'm sure his legal team, they probably don't want him to answer questions anyway, Rob. No, I get but, that. I, you know, I get that it. maybe with the language difference, maybe he says something you know, that he doesn't mean to say, or you know what I mean? I, I get that as uh, frustrating as it may be, but uh, I understand that from his side's perspective. Um, I don't know. This this story is just taking on so many things, Chris. I, I, I'm not saying that uh, he bet on baseball because that, cause that's the biggest thing. And I think the other part is in the state of California and what – what is at issue for him, Chris, is the illegal bookie. And, you know, it's against the law in Los right. in, in California, right. not Los Angeles, in California, to gamble. So that's why he has to really distance himself from that because if the, if he were to admit to that, that that's a, you, you've broken a law. Right. And then there's and, the other wire fraud if with he the knew money. his interpreter or ex-interpreter was doing it, he also was, you know, he was would be aware that he was breaking the law and kind of serving as an accomplice and all of that. Uh, do we have any sound, guys? Are we still waiting on this. What are you? Where are no you, one? Chris? Just, just on the idea that he he says he knows absolutely nothing, and he was robbed. They they that that his interpreter stole the money from him. Well, this is why it would have been nice to get somebody to ask a question uh, because, you know, how did, did, did he, your interpreter have your bank account numbers and all that? You know, do you have access to your, your bank logins, account? your high, right, everything. Um, 
And even if you did, I guess it's possible to, you know, hack in there, I guess. But, um, you know, was the interpreter that skilled? You know what I mean? Like, would know all that to... to Chris, let me, let me ask you this as a stuff. reporter. Let me ask you this. And he addressed it, which was really good in the, in the, in the, in the uh, press release. Um, what would have been, if, if you got a chance to ask him a question, what would have been the first question you would have asked? I asked my baseball writing class this today and in, in talking about this. I'm just curious. What question, Chris, would you ask as the first question if you got one question to ask him? Man, um, there's so many. I think what I just asked, what I just said, probably would have been my first. Um, you know, how did how did he get your – how do you think he got into your bank account and was able to, you know, send all that money uh, in your name? Uh, um, we there, do have sound did you now. Bet on baseball. Chris, would have been another question. There or you did, go. Let me tell you, you bet, that you know. that would have been number one for me, because I need to paint you into a corner as we before we go forward. Like that's because that's the most damage that can be done to him. Right. Do you know what I mean, Chris? So that's got to be like, did you bet on baseball? Show, hey, did you bet on baseball? Because the other stuff, Chris, you, you know, you can work through, and it's not going to wreck you. But but the but if he's the baseball, did you bet on baseball? We've already seen Pete Rose's name and legacy ruined. You know what I mean? And right. and it would be a big stain if that comes out. And I'd want to hear him say, "No, I never right. bet on that's, baseball." That's obviously what he's gonna say. Right. But but I but but to get him on the record stating that. Right. So we do have sound, Chris. Let's throw to it. Let's hear some sound. Eh, uh, first え、uh, to bet on sports. Uh, Up until a couple of days ago, I um, just to kind of just go over the result, uh, in conclusion, uh, Ipe has been stealing money from my account and has told lies. You know, and you also, Rob, a, a critical question is why initially did your team say that you knew what was going on? Why oh, the that, change that, stories? Definitely. You know what I mean? Like that, that would be definitely another one. In there, Chris, absolutely. Like what you said, uh, how did he get to the? How did he get your money? Why? Why has the story changed from what they told ESPN? Yep. Yep. Like that. That. That was just just sto- the story changed. Like yep. like what? What happened there? Um, boy, what a mess! What a mess! It really is a mess, Rob. And, and I don't know if you've talked to people around baseball, but. What is, if you know, or maybe you've talked to people who have uh, some baseball reporters, but it feel this really um, is a downer. I mean, obviously, if he did something, if he bet on baseball, it's just horrible. But I mean, in the in terms of it taking away from opening day, no doubt. And um, what Chris, really I, was probably one of the most star-studded teams in recent memory. I, I was on uh, MLB Now with Brian Kenny today on MLB Network, and we talked about it. And, and I did I, what you just said. It, it's a distraction. It's the worst possible way you want to start this season with the Dodgers who are supposed to be like the Beatles this year, Chris, yep. right? Yep. Like ticket sales for Dodger games all over the country are through the roof. Like when they come to town, yep. people are buying tickets no matter what stadium or whoever they were playing. 
And then for this to kind of, and I'm not saying that this is a buzz kill on everything because it could come out after an uh, investigation that, that there is no evidence of him betting on baseball. And then that would, that part would move away that cloud. Right. You know what I mean? And that's the like biggest said, cloud. That's the main thing. And it'd be great if he had, he said he's not, hasn't bet on any sporting events. Hopefully that's the case. Right. Hopefully, because if he ha- if he's bet on other sporting events, Rob, and I, there's nothing wrong with that. He's free to do that. But in some people's minds, they will wonder about baseball. Right. You know, it just it just it's, it's just natural. It's just yeah. natural. Chris, we just saw the story real quick. The NBA. What's his name? Dante. I mean, not uh, Jante. What's the NBA name? story? Yeah. Yeah, Jante Porter. John out Porter. of the lineup tonight and subject of an NBA investigation into irregularities on prop betting involving him. Uh, that is uh, Toronto Raptors center. And, and Chris, you ready for this? So his prop bets, um, so he only played four minutes that night. Let me see. Uh, he only played four minutes, came out with an an aggravated eye. And so all the prop bets hit for him, which was five and a half points, four and a half rebounds and one and a half assists. And there was also an over. But they under don't know for, if he bet on him for for Porter's uh, uh, made three, three pointers. But here it is, Chris. Yeah, this is what they're investigating. But the next day, as a part of the daily report on users, on uh, betting results, DraftKings Sportsbook reported that the under on Porter's three-pointers, Chris, was the biggest money winner for betters of any NBA player props from games that evening. So that's why it became suspicious because people bet heavy on there and they would be like, why would you be... Why would there be such a heavy betting action on that? Right. And then this guy comes right. out the game. That's what they look for, irregularities. Right. Yep. yep. Like, you might bet on something, but why is it on Jonte Porter and his right. – you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's weird that it, that they were big losers of a lot of money. He could have told his friends, his family, his boys, load up. I'm not I'm, – I'm bet the under. I'm going to come out the game. You know what I mean? Like, you set it up. Rob, and, and, and we got to keep talking about this because we've mentioned it. Like, have these professional sports leagues just started something that could wreck shop? I mean, this is simple as that, right? Um, you got the big – if this is – if Shohei did anything wrong, basically ba- betting on baseball, Rob, is there a big, bigger scandal No, Sh- Shoeless Joe Jackson? No, not not for not that for was the face. The World Series, but and, since and, the, right? No, and not for a guy making seven hundred million dollars, Chris. No, right? No. And he's international. How do you think? I I bet you, over in Japan, I mean they obviously would be disappointed in him, but what this puts a stain on their players and their it. Not that it should, but you know how people are. One hundred percent. And he represents Japan and the league and the players, and so, and now you got this situation with the NBA. 